Hey y'all, happy Friday. I've just brewed my first cup of coffee. Actually, my second cup of coffee, if we're really being honest. I thought we'd start off this vlog with a little coffee chat though. I'm going to try, my plan is, to do a new vlog every Wednesday and every Sunday. If not a vlog, then some sort of video. I really want to be consistent. I cannot tell you how many times. Y'all know if you've been a long time follower of my videos, you know how many times I've said that. But I really do want to try and be consistent or at least have a consistent schedule. I spent all day yesterday working on Pinterest marketing and like Pinterest analytics. And it's been so long since I've done anything with Pinterest. Like... I've probably had my account since whenever Pinterest like you know really exploded and we all got Pinterest accounts so what was that like 2012-2013 I am still used to the very old way of how Pinterest is because I don't I never use Pinterest anymore unless I'm just looking up a quick um, quick idea like for my own like home decor or something I don't use it for business and so many other people use it that way and I feel like it's just a, a resource that I've not really experimented with or not really even experimented but like I don't know researched and tried to figure out and tried to understand so I'm trying to be better about that it's changed so much though and all of the analytics everything it's just Instagram is so not fun anymore everything is just going to a new algorithm and you know it just it's like when you post is important and when you engage with with people is important and how you engage in the content that you produce and it's just all so confusing so I spent all of yesterday working mainly on Pinterest but also Tailwind do y'all know what Tailwind is if you have like an Instagram if you have like an online business you probably know but Tailwind is an online scheduler so instead of like having to go in and manually post on Instagram and it does, it does Pinterest and it does uh, Facebook and I'm sure some other Twitter and some other forms of social media. But it will um, like do the pins for you or do the posts for you so that you don't have to. So I tried, I spent all day yesterday trying to figure that out. I'm having a real hard time coming up with a routine that is manageable for me now that my day-to-day -day life is just completely different now that I don't teach and I'm so used to because I for what 12 years really really 11 when I when I first started TPT was my second year of teaching for 11 years I had two full-time jobs basically where you know I would wake up early in the morning I would work for a couple of hours before I even left to go teach and then I would teach all day and then I would come home and I would work until about seven o'clock it's been hard to go from that to how my life is now and I thought it would be so easy because you would think it is but I feel like I'm still working the same amount of hours that I did which is crazy because I no longer teach so I should have an extra what eight hours a day and I don't feel like I have that I feel like I'm working my mornings are, are later I don't get up and work near as early as I did so that has that has changed and that's gotten better so I normally start working around eight o'clock and then I'll stop about four now I'll take like a lunch break and I'll take like a small break in the morning and a small break in the afternoon but I usually stop around four but then when like 5 30 rolls around I'm having to set up Instagram posts for my book account and for my teacher account and for my Facebook account and I'm trying to get everything written and everything linked up and that takes a good 45 minutes to an hour so it's like I'm working again from 5 30 to 6 30 and then you have to like comment and you have to interact with um with your post and so it's just like I'm still working until about seven o'clock at night and I don't like that I, I I'm trying to get like a more manageable schedule because you know I, I I kind of just I want to have some time where I can just do whatever I want to and not feel like I need to work and not feel like I've got something to do so I'm going to try and do tailwind and schedule my post ahead of time so that like when four o'clock hits I can stop work for the day and you know do whatever I want to so I spent all day yesterday working on that and hopefully hopefully that'll get a little bit better and hopefully I'll be able to figure out somewhat of a schedule because I just feel like I haven't really gotten in the swing of things 
just yet and I would like to come up with some sort of routine. So for this morning I have brewed my cup of coffee like I said. I'm reading um, for just a little bit before I get started. This is my current read. It's Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. I love Elle Kennedy books. I have recently discovered her and this one came out um, Friday, no not Friday, February 1st which was Tuesday. So I ran to the bookstore and I got a copy of it and I was reading something else at the time, the book that I shared in the last vlog, but I finished that one. So good. This one I'm reading now and um, I haven't made it very far, but I wanted to have a little bit of reading time. I have, if y'all can see, right over there. When I finish my coffee and my book that like I'm just reading for enjoyment, I have um, to get to work and I'm going to work on this new guided read aloud. I've got to map out the schedule. This is Walk Two Moons. I don't think I've ever read this story and I've got to map out um, all the chapters and come up with a suggested read aloud schedule. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm really excited about reading it. A lot of people have said that it's one of their favorites. A lot of people have said that I need tissues. So <laughs> I'm assuming it's sad, which I didn't know. But I'm, um, I'm really happy to be reading that one. I've really gotten into middle grade reads here lately because I've been creating all of those guided read alouds. I'll link some of them down below. Um, but it's just really reignited my love for middle grade books. So I'm excited to get into those two. Would y'all believe I just have turned the camera off and took my first sip of this because I wasn't, <laughs> when I was chatting with y'all, I hadn't drank any and I thought, oh, my coffee is gonna be lukewarm now and I am gonna have to go and heat it up. But it's actually still pretty warm. I got these cups off of Amazon. It came in a pack of two and they're double insulated. I don't know if you can see it. They're double insulated though, um, but it keeps your coffee really warm. So I was pleasantly surprised. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one stop I ran out of tabs so I'm gonna turn up to my office and grab some more But I wanted to show y'all what I've gotten done so far I've tabbed every chapter so that I can see I don't know if you can see it from there. So that I can see which chapters are longer and which chapters are shorter. That helps me plan out um, like how to do the suggested schedule for when you do a read aloud. I'll also go in and look at the total number of pages in the book and then divide it by the chapters and, and do all that. But I like to have the tab so that I can visually see all the different chapters. But I gotta go and grab some more and finish this. Okay, so it's the afternoon. I've been working a little bit. I'm here in my little library slash office. The mess is getting to me though. It really needs a good straightening up. So I'm gonna do that. I'll take you guys along and then I'll give you just a little brief mini tour. Y'all have seen pretty much all of it, but there are a couple of new things and a couple of new pieces and a couple of new additions that I will share with you guys. Remember when you said we stay together now until forever. Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others, fight and hurt each other. Not us, not us. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down, 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 down. But we let each other down, 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 down. Yeah, we let each other down. Okay, y'all let me know what you guys think. I can't decide if I lock the couch with the throw or not. I've tried it both ways. I've tried it on this side and on this side, and then I've tried it without. If I keep it, I think I like it on this side, but I don't know if I like it or not. 
I don't know if it goes with the rug. Here, let me pull y'all back so that you can kind of see it all together. I still don't know if you're going to be able to see it that well. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it or should I take it away? I do like the pillows. I changed those out. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But I do like those. I just don't know about the throw. Okay, so I'm finished. The space has now straightened up. I thought I'd give you all a little tour now that everything is in its place. There's still a lot going on because it is my office. So it's not like picture perfect right now. Case in point, all of this stuff. But just keep in mind, this is like stuff that is upcoming in the next weeks or so. So all of these are books that um, need to be photographed, need to be shared online. These are picture books from publishers that I need to photograph. These are books from my own personal library that I need to share in the next uh, few weeks for Presidents and for Black History Month and then in March for Women's History Month. So I've just started pulling books and stacking them here. These stacks are book mail that I need to photograph and I need to film stories for. Some of them come with fun little things like this little packet of water that obviously has something to do with the book and then this cereal that has something to do with this. So I've just got those items there so that I can photograph those and I don't lose what was sent in the book mail and so that I can photograph it all together. And then these are books from various publishers that just came like one at a time so I've got them all stacked up so that I can remember to film them. And then this one came, if I can get it, this one came from the publisher, but it came in this little box that um, it tears because the book has this same tear in it. So I need to do a story on that one. So it's just over here by itself because it's kind of special. <laughs> so I've got all of that that I need to work on starting next week. Then I straightened up the bookshelves. They're in no particular order. Most of those shelves are for giveaways. So whenever I need to do a giveaway, for a certain book um, I can just pull from that shelf but the rest of it really has no rhyme or reason um, I've just stuck them on there I do need to get a better system set up but, but for right now it's just kind of chaotic then I straightened up my desk over here it looks pretty much the same as it did when I showed y'all in the last vlog so nothing special there um, I do have this new bookshelf that I've added this is where I keep all of my middle grade books and then I also have some notebooks over here that I work with. But all of this is just middle grade books. Books that I'm doing guided read-alouds for. Books that I'm just reading. Anything and everything middle grade goes on this shelf. Then with this bookshelf, I have the basket of books that I'm currently, um, or that I've read this month. So right now, because it's the very beginning of February, there's only one book in there. And then I also have my book journals that I keep track of all the books that I've read and then I have my book journal that I do book reviews I'll share if you follow me on my book account then you watch the little videos that I do when I um, fill out a book review and those have been fun I've started doing that this year so there right there and and all of that goes in this little basket so I can keep track of all of that more books and then the little couch that I have in here um, I changed out the pillows. There was the white and the blue one. I had that for like winter, but I'm just kind of over it and I just needed some bright colors. So I put these yellow and if it'll focus, these yellow and orange ones. I thought they went well with the rug. It'll be changed in a little while. But for right now, I just, I had these pillows in my pillow closet. So I just pulled those, nothing new, but I shopped my house. Then we've got a floor lamp, a little side table. Over here, a poof, and this little board that I have had for years. I've always had that there. I added a new Janet Hill picture. Well, I say new. I've had this. This is my first Janet Hill picture, I think. But I put it, I think it's kind of blurry. I don't know why. Um, I put it over here because I felt like this wall needed something. Even though when you open the door, you know, 
the door is there in that space but it just kind of looked blank when the door was closed so I felt like it needed something and I put it there it was over here but when I added this bookshelf I didn't need a picture there so um I put it over there and I put my new Jenny Hill right here and then I didn't show y'all the wall art I had this over here um, I got this at Home Goods this year so I'm very happy with all the little pieces in here as far as art prints go I love all of them they make me so happy so here is what the space looks like again it's it's a working room so it's not exactly photograph worthy right now but it works for me and it just makes me happy surrounded by all the books Okay, so I was about to end the vlog, but I forgot that I wanted to share with y'all my new candle obsession. Y'all may have heard of these. They're called Otherland Candles. Oh my goodness. They're my new favorite thing. I first discovered them when they sent their holiday collection to me um, back around November. And those scents were amazing. These I'm obsessed with. Let me share with y'all the packaging because it comes in this pretty um pretty white box with the gold white writing but then when you open it up look how pretty it just makes it even more ready for spring i wanted to share what it looked like let me share i'll do it this way so that you can see it a little bit better so when you open it up it has this pretty cover right here spring is within reach i'm so ready for spring i know we all are this is really neat these um are matches so you can just pop these out and then you have matches i thought that was really fun but then look how pretty they are oh my goodness I absolutely love them look at the top of them I think they're just so pretty okay so let me share what each one smells like they're very fragrant and I don't mean that in a bad way I just mean sometimes when you buy a candle it's like you can smell it when you take the lid off and then immediately the smell goes away with the holiday collection every time i walked by my um, desk and i didn't even have like the lid off of the candle it was just laying here you could or it was just sitting on my desk you could smell it they're very fragrant they're very very powerful but not in an overwhelming way like you'll you'll enjoy it <laughs> when i took the lid off just now to share about them it's just like the entire room lit up with the smell of spring it smells exactly like spring in a box and i'm just so ready <laughs> let's talk about what each one smells like this one is my favorite i think this one smells like sugar beets grass and ginger you can definitely smell the grass like i didn't used to love the smell of spring fragrances when they smelled like earth you know like the dirt and the grass i didn't love that for some reason over the last couple of years i just absolutely love that smell and it just reminds me of like landscaping and planting flowers and I didn't used to like to do that either and I've just loved that the last few years so I guess that's where my new <laughs> love of smelling grass comes in uh the green one so pretty smells like um verbena and mint it definitely smells like eucalyptus it doesn't say it smells like eucalyptus but there's definitely like a minty clean fresh to it. it smells really good and then the purple which is my favorite of the colors i love the purple it smells like lilac very very light like your typical spring scent that you would find spring didn't used to be my favorite it's my favorite season y'all know i love spring it didn't used to be my favorite scents but i've gotten to where i really i think it's because i appreciate spring so much now and i just am so ready for spring at this point that I love the spring fragrances more than I used to. I'm still not a huge flower, like floral fan when it comes to candles, but um, more so than I used to be. But these I'm so excited about. I just think they're not only gorgeous, but they, they smell really good. I'm not just trying to pitch y'all um, a sales pitch. They, they are so, I can't wait to burn them. And then I also don't want to burn them because I just want to sit on my um, bookshelves and look pretty. But I want to smell them too. So I'm so excited about those. I really think that you guys would love them. They'd make a good gift too. But I really think that you would love them if you ordered them. Especially if you love like Bath & Body Works type candles that are very fragranty. You'll love these. That also, I realized, sounded completely sponsored. It wasn't. They just sent the candles to me. And I thought I'd share about them here um, with y'all. Because I'm a huge fan now. So I'm just now looking in the viewfinder. And I may have talked the entire time with my head cut off. 
let's hope not when I get the footage on the computer to be seen. <laughs> I'm relearning how to film. Y'all just bear with me. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I fear that it has gone on a little too long and that it's going to be too long. So maybe I can edit it down and make it not so long. But either way, we've got another vlog filmed. I'm now on my third vlog trying to come back and trying to be consistent so we're going to hopefully keep at it and hopefully get another one out next Wednesday so I will see you guys then and talk to y'all then hopefully bye